Janet Yellen set to give remarks to the American Bankers Association. Kayla Tausche joins us right now with a preview. Kayla, good morning. Good morning, Becky. Secretary Yellen's remarks today will defend the government's intervention in the financial system three years after the COVID pandemic began and 15 years after the global financial crisis. Secretary Yellen is expected to reaffirm that the rescue last week was meant to shore up the entire system, saying, quote, the steps we took were not focused on aiding specific banks or classes of banks. Our intervention was necessary to protect the broader U.S. banking system. And importantly, similar actions could be warranted if smaller institutions suffer deposit runs that pose the risk of contagion. Treasury is suggesting that deposits at other banks could also be fully insured above 250000 if there's an exception granted because that bank poses a systemic risk. Washington is currently weighing whether to permanently raise the threshold on how much is insured in a given account, but a White House official tells me a decision is not imminent there. In the meantime, the Treasury Secretary will describe the situation as stabilizing with deposit outflows slowing in speed and volume, despite the uncertainty surrounding regional banks. Western Alliance Bank Corp and PacWest up in pre-market trading after another day of red yesterday, all led today by First Republic, which is up sharply, with reports that banks led by J.P. Morgan Chase are undergoing new efforts to strengthen the bank. I'm told by sources familiar with the matter, Becky, uh, that uh, the talks led by J.P. Morgan are focused more on longer-term contingency planning, separate from the sale process that is happening in the meantime. Becky. Kayla, I was trying to parse what Janet Yellen is saying, kind of go through the words. And the first thing she said where this is not going to be done for separate classes of banks, uh, that, that, that the things that they've done to this point would not be done for separate classes of banks, made me think that she was referring to what the Mid-Sized Bank Coalition of America asked for this weekend, which was deposit coverage for everyone. But then the second part of her sentence made it seem like, okay, maybe we would do that if it was needed. Well, I think that what she is trying to do with that first part of the statement, Becky, is to deflect any criticism that the U.S. was coming to the rescue of the technology sector, of Silicon Valley or of the crypto sector by, you know, taking, uh, by closing Signature Bank, by taking Silicon Valley Bank into receivership, that they weren't showing special treatment for any one sector or any one region. But certainly uh, what follows from there is the suggestion that uh, the intervention could continue if there is further weakness. Now, I think that what she's trying to say is that there should be confidence in the U.S. banking system, that the regulators still have more firepower left if they see weakness spreading. Uh, but certainly those are two lines that are going to be parsed pretty closely. And of course, we'll get her full remarks later today.